So one thing I notice with a lot of streamers is that they have their webcam on their gaming scene in one particular position, and then if a particular game has a lot of information there or something important in that area, they have a really hard time moving it to another area and it gets very clunky. They end up moving one element at a time and all that kind of stuff. So today I'm gonna to show you how to quickly move your camera around your scene. I'm gonna show you an awesome plugin that helps make it look a lot nicer and a lot smoother and you can preset positions so that you can really quickly move things around. Now I've been using this for quite a long time and as you can see, it makes it really easy to move my camera around to different areas of my stream. And it really helps me to move my camera around when, again, a game has a certain element there and I want it to be visible. Um, this just really helps out and having the preset positions makes my life really, really easy. Now, the first thing I highly suggest you do though is create a group. And with the group, it allows you to move your camera around as one element, which makes it a lot easier um, to move it around and keep everything together. You don't wanna have to move your camera and your webcam border and then whatever other elements that you have there. So this really helps it move around as one unit. So let's go ahead and create a new scene. I'm gonna call this one scene two. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add my webcam first. So it's gonna be our video capture device. Actually, on this one, it's just an image because my camera is currently set up on my stream PC. Um, so we're just gonna do that. So pretend this is our webcam source, but you would have added your webcam source as something. Um, so what we're gonna do is now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add our um, webcam border. So your webcam border can either be a browser source or it can be a video source. So mine is a browser source because I have it set up with a bunch of other things as well. Uh, cam overlay. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna line this up and we're gonna make it so that it fits. And my image is a little bit wider than it should be, um, but that's not a big deal. Um, we're gonna get this one lined up as well as we can. All right, and now our back, my image is a little bit bigger, so we're gonna hold Alt and we're gonna just drag that in and crop it down. So there we go. If you wanna get a little bit more detailed you can also if you have multiple monitors you can right click here and you can project or full screen this onto another monitor so that you get a much bigger visual of that and you can help line up things a little bit easier but for this point and purpose this will work now our next step here is to group these things together so we're going to hold control we're going to click them both we're going to right click it and we're going to do group selected items we're going to call this one cam group all right so now if I lock the two items inside, I can't accidentally grab one of them and move it, but I can move the whole group as an item. So you don't wanna lock the group itself, you wanna lock the two items inside, and now they'll all move together as one. This is the first step, so now if I want to, you know, resize this, throw this here, playing my game, and uh, if I need to move it, I just grab it, move it to the other side, move it up, move it down, move it just a little bit, move it a lot, I can do all that really easily. Now the next step here is gonna be using a plugin called Move Transitions. Now if you wanna have predefined positions like I did earlier that really help you move things around very quickly that you can use at a press of a button if you have a Stream Deck, which with the newest update allows you to do filters, I'm gonna show you how to do that. So we're gonna end up using Move Transition, which is an incredible plugin. It's awesome. You can use it for transitions themselves, and you can also use it as a filter. So we're, today we're gonna to be using it as a filter to move our camera around. So once you get that plugin installed from the link down below, you're gonna head back to OBS, and now we're gonna add our filter. Again, you can use it as a transition between two different scenes, but we're gonna be doing this on a singular scene so that we can move our webcam to predefined locations on our scene uh, to make it really easy while we're streaming. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make sure our stuff is grouped up and we're gonna add the filter to the scene, not to the source. So if you go to scene, you go to filters and we're gonna add one and it's gonna be called move source. So when you go there, let's call this one top left. And now you're gonna make sure that you select your source as the cam group, right? That, that was the name of our group there. And now you're gonna wanna move your camera to the position and the size that you want it to be. So let's go and make it a little bit smaller and we're gonna go top left. 
So now you're going to press get transform. It's going to copy all that information here and it's going to mark it. Now you can set a start delay. You can set how long it's going to take to move that item up and down. Um, ease in and out is a very good easing. So I highly suggest you keep it that way. And the start trigger is what you're going to want to do is called enable and disable. So what that's going to do is it's going to um, start it and then close it immediately. So if we close that and reopen it, if I move this camera and then I press top left, it's going to move it back up to the top left, which is awesome. Now, again, if I want to make it a much faster transition, I can do 100. And now if I move this again and I click it, it's very, very fast. Um, so you can play around with this. You can make it however you'd like it to be. Um, you can change the curve. You can do all that kind of stuff. And I highly suggest that you do um, enable disable, leave the next move to none and move end and you're done. Now you can make a bunch of these and you can call this one top right. And now we're gonna move our camera to the top right, get transform and you're all done. So we can do top left, we can do top right. And this makes it really, really, really easy to move your camera around. Now where this gets even better is if you have a stream deck. Now the stream deck got a very recent update that allows you to add filters natively within the stream deck before you end up having to use bar raiders uh, extra plugin which was great but it did end up taking a few extra steps now that the filter source triggering and the filters in general are built into the stream deck you can just set them up really really quickly have them all there and that's the way that i control my webcam on my streams and the nice thing is if you do want to move it manually you can do that so say you have a very particular place you want it placed for a particular game uh, or a particular scene, you can move it there. And then when that's done, you can just go and be like, okay, I want it back on my top left, done. Back on the top left. Now, unfortunately, it's not really easy to add hotkeys for these kinds of filters yet, which is why having a stream deck makes life so much easier. But it is also not too difficult to just have your filters open um, while you're streaming. And you can just go ahead and just click them as you go and have them very easily accessible to you. Now, I really hope this video helps you out. I hope it makes it a lot easier for you to move your camera around and keep everything that you want visible on your stream visible. Now, if you did find this video helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you like, subscribed. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, feel free to leave those down in the comment section below. Big thanks to my Patreon sponsors, Thought Slime, Step Back, and Rojo Son of Dojo, and thank you for watching the end of this video. If you want to see any other great content on how to make your stream a little bit better, how to make things a lot easier, you can go ahead and check out my playlist right here. And as always, stay safe out there. I'll see you next Friday.